Good evening one and all. Today we are going to study about teeth. So teeth is present in the buccal cavity. Okay, the cavity which is there in our mouth, inside our mouth. So that is known as buccal cavity. There teeth are present. So basically the main function of teeth is mastication. And what is mastication? Whenever we ingest the food, okay, so there is a need of chewing, crushing, grinding of the food. So that is nothing but this mechanical process is known as mastication. So in human beings, we have four types of teeth. Okay, we have incisors, canines, premolars and molars. I will show you a picture. So this is the picture of it. We can see incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Okay, so we have the front four teeth. In the upper and the lower jaw it is known as incisors so this is the image of incisors so you can see that the incisor it has a crown and it has a root okay so one crown one root and it is a single rooted see this is the only one root present in this type of teeth so this is incisors so we have in the upper jaw we have four incisors in the front part and in the lower jaw we have four incisors so total we have eight incisors okay total we have eight incisors four in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw okay after incisor okay the function of the incisor is what cutting and biting so whatever if you if you want to bite something or we have to cut something we use this type of teeth like we sometimes we eat apple with the help of like incisors and apple we can bite it with the help of incisors next we have canines so this is the structure of canine this okay but can you see there i have written cuspid why i have written cuspid so if you can see here there is a pointed structure this pointed structure this point it is known as a single point that is nothing but cuspid so i have written here canine or cuspid again it has a crown which is having one single point so it is known as a cuspid and it has one root so this is a canine so after incisors we have canines so we have one here canine one here and in the upper jaw also one one total total we have four canines two in the upper jaw and two in the lower jaw so we have here four canines in total now what is the function of canines canines function is for tearing and piercing purpose now what is tearing and piercing why for what this type of teeth is used so for eating flesh okay in the carnivorous animals this type of teeth is used for piercing and you know for tearing the flesh so in some animals okay in the some carnivorous animals this type of teeth is long for cutting and piercing purpose that's it and if suppose the organism is not um, carnivorous the animal is not carnivorous that is it is a herbivorous then this type of teeth is not functional like they don't use this type of teeth next so we have next premolars or bicuspid so this is the image of premolar i will explain why it is a bicuspid because of the point there is two point here so we say like a pecular point uh, is there in this so we say it as a bicuspid here one point and here one point with a single root i told this is a cr crown and the root single root is present so we will say single rooted and two two points are there so we, we, i will i have written bicuspid so this type of like premolar obviously premolar now it is present between what it is present between canines and molars hmm? so we have two uh, two like two two and like I will tell you like this side we have two and in this side two upper and lower jaw two two if you will calculate so it will be total eight so we have total eight premolars 
ओके लाइक आई टोल्ड दिस वे सी हियर सी हियर वी हैव टू एंड सेम हियर टू दिस इज लोअर जॉ सेम फॉर द अपर जॉ इट विल बी टू टू सो टोटल देर विल बी एट प्री मोलर्स ओके सो दिस इज द इमेज ऑफ प्री मोलर विच इज अ सिंगल रूटेड नेक्स्ट इट इज यूज फॉर क्रशिंग ग्राइंडिंग एंड चूइंग पर्पज सो दिस इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ इट द सेम फंक्शन इज देर फॉर द मोलर क्रशिंग ग्राइंडिंग एंड चूइंग पर्पज दैट्स इट नाउ कमिंग टूवर्ड्स द मोलर सो दिस इज मोलर यू कैन सी दैट देर आर मेनी रूट्स इन दिस ओके क्राउन रूट देर आर मेनी रूट सो वी से मल्टी रूटेड मोलार तीत ओके सो इट इज मल्टी रूटेड मोलार तीत सो ना मोलार्स वी हैव टोटल थ्री 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 ओके अगेन आई विल शो द इमेज इफ यू वॉन्ट सी यर वी हैव थ्री यर वी हैव थ्री दिस इज द लोअर जॉ एंड सेम फॉर द अपर जॉ सिक्स डाउन सिक्स अप टोटल ट्वेल्व मोलार्स आर प्रेजेंट ओके सो दिस इज ट्वेल्व इन नंबर द फंक्शन इज सेम एज द प्री मोलार crushing grinding and chewing purpose so i guess this is pretty much clear so as as i told you that uh, like if let us consider the half of the body okay so right and the left okay in my right okay so i have if I, you will cut this part or let us take this if i will divide this into right and the left suppose i am saying this right and left so here i have two canine uh, two incisors one canine and two premolars three molars same here two incisors one canine two premolars and three molars so you can see 2 1 2 3 2 1 2 3 so that is the reason the dental formula comes 2 1 2 3 for the upper right and for the lower right that is 2 1 2 3 so this is only for the half section what about the other half you have to like multiply by 2 so this comes total as like if you will multiply like multiply by 2 the total number of teeth present in the buccal cavity are 32 in the human human being that's it so this is the dental formula i told when you have, you have to consider exactly the middle Uh, like half half of the teeth half here half that side right left okay so lastly we will come towards the structure of a teeth so this is a structure of a teeth so crown is there first and the root you can see that this is known as the enamel then you have this as dentine then you know this is the gum gum is also known as gingiva you know like you can see this is a pulp cavity where all the nerves and the blood vessels are present here then this is a root canal this is a bone the bone specifically is known as alveolar bone this is a structure of a tooth so when you study the structure of the tooth and all the things like dentition everything about the this study is known as odontology this study is known as odontology now lastly we will come to the three main points i have written here heterodont dentition now what is heterodont dentition since i told that we have four types of teeth their shape is totally different okay morphologically it is different so we say heterodont dentition means different type of teeth are present okay different type of the tooth are present so we say hetero means different in terms of morphology so we say heterodont type of dentition next we say thecodont now what is thecodont now if you can see here again in this image the teeth are okay let us say one tooth the tooth is embedded in the jaw when the tooth is completely embedded in the jaw means properly it is embedded so we say it as thecodont dentition because it is embedded in the jaw it is fixed 
it is not shaky it's fixed properly so we say thicodont dentition last is diphodont since human beings they get two sets of teeth okay first is the milk teeth and the second type is the permanent teeth so we say diphodont type of dentition in the whole life span they get two sets of teeth milk teeth and the permanent teeth so diphodont dentition okay lastly i will show some teeth like some three i have it so let us take this so this is a teeth it has only one root but can you see that it is having how many uh, like you can see that it is having two uh, this two points so this is premolar i taught taught you that premolar is bicuspid okay i taught this that premolar is a bicuspid so you can see this clearly here if you want i will keep my hand see this is it is having two uh, two this points and one root so this is premolar okay bicuspid premolar again i will show one more this is a tooth okay it is again having a two points and one root so this is premolar okay again a premolar lastly i have one more tooth this is a tooth if you can see it properly i hope bit it is clear so this is a tooth which is having only one root and even it is having only one this like single tip single point you can see here so single point so we will say it as cuspid that is canines so i hope this is clear i showed you premolar and even i showed you this canine one since it is having single uh, tip that is cuspid and it is having a two tips so bicuspid so i hope this all things are clear so this is all about the like what all you should know the basics of two teeth okay study of tooth or teeth that is nothing but odontology so i hope you got this lecture thank you for watching this lecture